Hi guys, this is Sunil Kamar, the DevOps guy. I've been playing around with Python Boto 3 module and uh, creating stuff in AWS. In my previous video, I talked about setting up Boto 3 environment on your Linux machine. And today, what I will do is so in my in this uh, AWS user, I have a couple of instances and these two instances have separate security groups and in those security groups this is security groups uh, I will add new inbound rules so let's say you have inbound rules for 8080105 I'll, I'll add 1234 or something some new rule I'll add using Boto3 good so let me get started so you know how to create a set up a Boto3 in on Linux machine so you can refer to my earlier video I'll, I'll provide you in the link so let me get started with the program here security group underscore in the py so as as you know I'll start with bot import Boto3 and I'll create two objects one is EC2 object that is Boto3 dot resource sorry one is resource object resource is two and the second being uh, client object the difference between uh, client and is resource object is uh, client client again is two so client is a low le low level wrapper class whereas resource is a high level you'll get to know by looking or playing around with their functions and so let me see if i can describe instances in client object you let me search for the functions to get the entire details of So if I see it will probably something like describe addresses, describe images. So describe instances. So this is like describes one or more instances. So I'll use this and create a response object out of it. Response equal to client dot describe instance and before going further let me just print it out and let's see what it prints out response cool. I will run the program python and let me open a notepad This is the output. Let me copy it and paste it on our work. Sorry. So let me copy this and paste it in a work. So if you see in the notepad this entire thing is a or uh, let me use notepad plus plus instead notepad plus plus so if you see in here its entire thing it has given us a dictionary with key value as reservations Reservations here. Alright, this is static weird. Cool, looks good. Okay, reservation is a keyword. So let me and in this reservations you have instances. See these two instances one and two as as values. So we can loop through reservations and then we can loop through 
instances all right let let me do that and uh, let's see let me print it out mm, let me comment it for a uh, in response i expect you to know python observations and probably for instance in r of instances so instances let me copy this so now in these instances you will have security groups somewhere so if you search for security so you see these are the security groups and so security group is a key value so security group is a key value and a key and this is a value so the value is nothing but a list so what we can do is we can look for security groups and a zeroth element of a list because only one element is there and we should let's get a group id of that security group so how would you do it i would do it like this id equal to instance so this is instance okay and look for security groups the zeroth element because there is only one element in the list here and i look for group id okay so before going further let me just print out the group ids and see if it works we got the group id is of two security groups cool what we can do is next uh we can create a security group object so maybe here we'll look for security groups Security group, right? So security group is created like this. Security group we call to security group EC2 security group ID. So ID I have already created. Cool. So let me print it out. Print out security group as well. I'm just you know, spoon feeding, but the guys who are new to Python also should understand. So, so this is seven twenty. Yeah, some some mistake here. Yeah. Okay, looks like we have made some mistakes here. yeah it's it's working now because it's, it was stop it stopped working because internet was stopped on my laptop so it was not able to connect to aws so uh, it has created security group object all right so let me comment this out as well because we don't need this so since it has created security object security group object we can use uh function inside security group let me see authorize ingress and use this authorize ingress i have studied about this it adds one or more ingress ingress rules to the security group 
all right so we can create a response wherein set group dot authorized ingress will will use a limited parameters out of it so here what i'll do is i'll just paste i'll use ip protocol equal to tcp okay i'll use icdr as you can try out a lot of stuff okay I'll, i'm doing just the easiest things 0 .0 .0 .0 because uh, my whole idea is to show you if it adds or not okay so i'll use from port equal to let me use one two three four some random port and two port again equal to one two three four okay let me close this and let me run the program Done. It has run the program. Now we'll go to AWS and check it. All right. So I'm not here. I'll go to AWS and so let me go to EC2 dashboard and let me see the first one. Launch wizard five. If you see our inbound rules. So it has added one, two, three, four. And if I go to second one as well, you will find it. Let me go to the second server and launch wizard inbound rule. You can see one, two, three, four. So, so it's done. So what we did was we set up Boto3, which I have uh, told you in my previous video. Then we wrote out Python program using Boto3 created EC2 and client objects. Okay, EC2 is for lower level, resources for higher level. Then we created a response object which takes, which uh, uses client function describe instances, and we played around it. You know, we created a under reservations. We took an instance, got the group ID of it, security group ID of it and created a group security group object and used a function of security group that is authorized ingress to actually add inbound rule so that's about it you can use you can use multiple functions you can do a lot of stuff with it you know just go to go to three documentation and try to use all these contents uh, all the functions sorry all the uh, all the functions ec2 and you know you can you can do a lot of stuff with it all right so that's it from me today thank you